I'm Dan Benhart, Product Support Specialist with Mitutoyo America Corporation. In this episode, we'll be talking about the basic use and maintenance of our Digimatic hole tests. Before use, clean the contacts, clearing any dirt or dust. Rotate the thimble through the full range of the gauge and check for any sticking or jamming of the thimble or anvils. Make sure that your gauge powers on. If it does not, replace the SR44 battery. When replacing the battery cap, make sure that the seal is properly seated. Perform the initial setting using a setting ring or master part if applicable. And if your measurement will only use part of the anvil surface, perform setting using that portion only. Enter the preset value, that is the setting ring calibration value if you will be performing absolute measurements. To take a measurement, bring the anvils into light contact with the workpiece, then operate the ratchet five to six times to ensure constant measuring force. Take care to protect the anvils and bearing surfaces from impact at all times. When retracting the spindle, be sure to stop once you feel resistance. Failure to do so can damage your gauge. After use, check the gauge for damage. If any is found, arrange for repair or replacement. Clean the instrument. Make sure you store the instrument in a room free from excessive heat, moisture, dust, and oil mist. And if storing the instrument for an extended period of time, apply micrometer oil to the anvils and contact surfaces. Lastly, remove the battery. For more information on our Digimatic hole tests or to download our Checkpoints for Measuring Instruments brochure, please visit www.mitatoyo.com or contact your local distributor.